Thank you guys for joining me for part eight, the last part of this IPL preview, and we'll be covering Mumbai Indians, the most successful team in IPL history. Rohit Sharma leading the way. They've now got two more Indian players who, with Indian caps, Ishan Kishan and Surya Kumar Yadav. They look stronger than ever. Are they already IPL champions in our heads? What are we thinking, boys? You can't say champions at the start of the season, but they're they're favourites. But there's no doubt they've obviously they haven't been weakened uh, by 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 the auction. They've added a little bit of extra depth um, with with uh, Jimmy Neesham, uh, with Nathan Coulter Nile buying him back at the same price. Adam Milne, um, pretty much a like for like replacement for James Pattinson, who was very good for them last year in the uh, kind of in the middle overs. Experience in in Piyush Chawla, um, and then. Uh, you know, uh, Yudhvir Chadak is a domestic uh, player, Marco Janssen, South African, who they've had their eye on for a while. And then with the very last pick, the son of Sachin Arjun, Ten Arjun Tendulkar, uh, who is um, a talented player, but probably won't play very much. Um, but the, I think it's a good sign that... So Quinton de Kock isn't available for the first game because of international duty and then uh, quarantine. But Chris Lynn will presumably come in for that game. I think it's a good sign that you can name, I think, probably 10 of Mumbai Indians starting 11 for that first game. Um, they, they start as favourites. And what do you think, Monty? Are they already champions in your head or do you think that, nah, not this season? Well, I think, you know, we all, we all know that they, they are the strongest team in, in the competition. And uh, they have, uh, again, like I said, you know, they've got young you know, they, the domestic, you know they, they got young, the likes of Kishan, Suresh Kumar. That's what makes them, is, 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 is makes them strong, is that they're able to get, you know, uh, young domestic players uh, who, who, who play Ranji Trophy, who play in the, um, you know, in the T20 competitions, um, to actually um, get a chance to represent India. And, 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 we, and, we, and, we, and we've seen that, you know, we've seen a lot of the players um, you know, are, are from Mumbai Indians that, that are representing in the T20 team. So this, yeah, this is a team, you know, that should make the playoffs. I think they'll be, you know, bitterly uh, disappointed if they don't make the playoffs. Um, so in my opinion, yeah, it is, they are like the Man City of Premier League or, uh, you know, um, Juventus of, uh, you know, La Liga. So yeah, Mumbai Indians are the strongest team, you know, by far. And, uh, they're the team I think all the other sort of teams are are, are going to be chasing. You know? When it comes to the big crunch games, it's the Mumbai Indians. You know, they're the ones that everybody wants to beat. Um, and uh, it'll be interesting to see, you know, um, how how they uh, cope with the pressure. You know, the tag of the, the team to beat sometimes uh, makes it difficult. You know, you, you've seen in other leagues around the world, look at Liverpool right now, you know, they've suddenly, you know, dropped off and... Uh, it's uh, it, that's so that's not the case with Mumbai Indians. You know they continue to stay strong because we all know that if Mumbai Indians, if cricket in Mumbai is strong, then cricket in India is strong. And uh, obviously, I mentioned this previously as well. You know, when some players get the stamp of having played for India, the expectation within themselves almost rises when they come to the uh, come to the IPL. And of course, Ishan Kishan last year did not start. It was between him and Saurabh Tiwari who would play in that starting 11. And then Ishan Kishan came in towards the end and made that place his own. So, and of course, now he's represented India, dream debut. Uh, same goes for Surya Kumar, who's now played a lot for India. I remember when he started off his IPL career with KKR, he was this bit part player who would come in at six, hit a couple reverse sweeps for four. And now he's progressed on to being this top batsman who bats at number four. And he does really well. So having played for India now and obviously proving themselves at international level, does that almost make Mumbai Indians even stronger than they were last year? It does add to the aura, doesn't it? Um, and you look at, this is, the, the, with Mumbai, it's aura. They've got this, you know, from, you know, Rohit Sharma, who actually didn't have a particularly good season last year with the bat, it didn't really matter. Quinton de Kock, and then you've got from Surya Kumar Yadav through Ishan Kishan, through Kyron Pollard, there's no player in T20 cricket who has a greater aura and winning aura around him than, than Kyron Pollard and then the Pandya brothers and then the looming threat of Bumrah pretty much you can come on at any stage of the innings and be brilliant um the I think they're they're almost developing this thing where certain teams go out against Mumbai and feel slightly beaten before they go out there and certainly when it gets to crunch situations I think that that can that can be said to be the case Ishan Kishan 
He, he, he played most of the tournament last year. There was only a couple of games he missed at the start, sort of Tawadi uh, was playing, um, and it showed that he should never have been left out to start with. He, he and, and Suri Kumar Yadav have got the rewards from being so good and too good for the level they were playing at for a number of years, and, and as a result, they've uh, they've come into the Indian team completely ready to go. Same with Krunal Pandya, who's come into the Indian team and has, and has done well. I think there's he, Krunal and Rohit Sharma are the two players who underperformed for them last year in terms of the big players. Rohit with the bat and Krunal, decent with the ball, but not not spectacular. Um, and then underwhelming with the bat. Hardik Pandya was magnificent last year with the bat and now is fit to bowl again. So that's another, that's just an extra strength thing for them. And then they've got, um, the, the one thing I would say with Mumbai um, is that their first five games are in Chennai, their next four are in Delhi after that. They don't have an elite spin bowler. They've got Rahul Chahar, who's broken into the Indian team now and is a very good bowler. Krunal Pandi is a good option. Um, but the other the other spin bowling options, um, you've got kind of all, an all-rounder in Anukul Roy. You've got uh, Jayanth Yadav, who's kind of an all-rounder. Piyush Chawla, very experienced, but was and poor, the, frankly, was- last year for, for Chennai. Yeah, he was poor for Chennai, but also with Piyush Chawla, I feel he's got the experience of winning the IPL. And I think that winner's mentality never goes. I, I'm sure Monty will be able to tell us more. When you're a player and you've won trophies, especially big tournaments like the IPL, you're hungry for more. You want to win more. And I feel like Piyush Chavla also knows he's only 32. We forget. He's been around a long time. It's not like he's reached the end of his career. He's only 32. And he knows that the India T20 team are currently struggling for a spinner with Chehel and Kuldeep both out of form. Being a risk spinner himself, I know they went with Rahul Chehel for the T20s. But if he gets a, ch- a chance and he grabs it as a brilliant IPL season, and knowing how this team management is functioning now with them rewarding IPL performances, who's to say he can't make a comeback into this Indian team? I would love to hear Monty's view on that. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, comeback is uh, probably being a bit optimistic. Um, but I think uh, if uh, if uh, he can, you know, provide that experience, you know, that sort of leg spin option, which he's, you know, he's always, um, you know, useful, um, you know, candidate to, you know, to add that bit of experience. But, uh, look, I think, uh, you know, he's probably there just to, you know, help out with Rahul, you know, he's an exciting prospect. Um, but then, you know, if things, I know how Mahel, Jay Ward and I would uh, operate, he would always want to cover the youngsters and the experienced players in his team because um, you need some of the sort of, you know, senior players there to to help out, you know, the youngsters, uh, in, in, especially in pressure situations or be there as a, as a mentor helping out. So I think that that could uh, you know really work, um, you know that 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 role that um, you know Pavel Stravla is doing right now. So I I, I think uh, um, you know he's 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 an asset uh, you know to Mumbai Indians. And lastly, I wanted to know from both of you, uh, who are the four foreigners you're going with for the first game with Quinton de Kock obviously being out. I mean de Kock. Obviously, won't be won't be available for that first game. So Chris Lynn comes into the top of the order. Uh, obviously, Kyron Pollard, uh, Trent Bolt, and then I think they'll probably go with Adam Milne, having had a because he's had such a good BBL, just broken back into the New Zealand team. I think he'll be the the option as the as the third spin third seam bowler. Uh, I think he'll just uh, pip Nathan Coulter Nile to that slot. So yeah, Lynn, Pollard, Milne, and Bolt. Yeah, look, I, I agree with that as well. And I think it'd be either between Adam Mill or Nathan Coulton. Or, um, you know, both of them are probably playing for that one spot. Um, but I think, yeah, apart from that, um, you know, it's pretty uh, straightforward, you know, what, what the Mumbai Indians team, you know, will be. Um, so, yeah, they, 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 you know, we all, I think people can predict already what their starting 11 is. They're, they're that good. Um, they're probably, yeah, they are. We all know it's the strongest team in the competition. And lastly, how much of a help will it be that Jaspreet Bumrah has obviously not been in a bio bubble for the last one month or so? He obviously had a break after the test matches for his wedding. So he's not been in a bubble. He's obviously, we'll expect him to come back mentally fresh. And how big will that be for Mumbai Indians going into this tournament and your final predictions of where they finish? Bumrah is a banker. You don't have to worry about Jaspreet Bumrah now. This isn't the case of, you know, he's had a couple of good seasons. Can he back it up? We know he can. He's a world-class operator. 
one of the very best T20 bowlers, in, well, one of the best fast bowlers in the world in any format. I don't think you have to worry about Boomer. And the fact that he's had a bit of rest, he's had this family time, um, he's he's nice and energized, only makes them stronger. And he, uh, as I said, he has this aura. Um, you know, there's a there's a fear when when Boomer comes on in in opposition players, and that's a thing that not many fast bowlers or not many bowlers in T20 cricket can do. I think it may be him and Archer uh, in the world who can who can do that. Um, and I would expect Mumbai to top the league stage. I would think it would be be, an, be a fantastic performance from anyone else to stop them doing it. I think, as I said, the fact that they're playing a few games, the first nine games in spinner-friendly conditions, in theory, in Chennai and Delhi, um, might mean that they start a little bit slower than they did last year, but they've always had enough to catch up. Um, I would expect them to certainly top the league stage, certainly make the playoffs fairly easily, and then uh, and then be very difficult to beat. And what do you yeah, think? yeah. Look, Mumbai Indians um, are the team which um, I think um, you know. Look at Kiran Pollard; he's in probably you know batting really well at the moment, hitting six sixes for West Indies. Um, you know what a fantastic game that was. Um, I, I think Rohit Sharma. His attitude, you know, how he, um, during the Australian, you know, series when he had to uh, join the team, he worked hard on his fitness. He knew that, you know, my fitness levels are not up to scratch when I'm playing, you know, loads of games in the IPL. And he's really worked hard on that. And um, so for me, um, that was always a bit of a question mark to think, you know, Rohit Sharma kind of rests on his laurels for this uh, effortless, you know, easy talent that he has, just, you know, dismisses balls into the stands, you know, makes it look so easy, but good on him, you know, to work hard on his fitness and take and and, and take his role as a captain, you know, really seriously. So I, I, I do expect Mumbai Indians, you know, to to get into the playoffs and uh, it wouldn't surprise me they they, they they win it again because they had a, such a strong side up winning. Yeah, I think to end, I'd like to just uh, say, say something similar to what Monty said during the Rajasthan Royals bit, where you know the England team's it's good for the England team when Rajasthan Royals are doing well because they have such a strong England contingent. I think it's the same for India and Mumbai Indians. You know if Mumbai Indians are doing well, that it's good for India going into that World Cup because that means the Indian contingent there is doing well. So I think it'll be interesting to see what happens with Mumbai Indians. And of course, having the chip on their shoulder where everyone's targeting them as the team to beat, how they cope with that pressure, it'll be interesting to watch. And I'm sure we'll find out in less than a week's time. So thank you guys for joining me for this IPL preview. And we'll be back every, end of every week to cover the week's uh, action in the IPL. So I will catch up with both of you then. So thank you for joining me.